Hello and welcome. My name is Alan. I'm the Mind Alchemist here at Northern Light Wellness. And today I want to talk a bit uh, about stones, the power of stones. And I wanted to do a hypnosis session, just not a very long one, maybe 10, 12 minutes, on, this, on these stones. Because stones, I have a whole stone collection. I used to pick them up here and there, and each one of these stones has a story. It's traveled from somewhere to somewhere else. And so if you would like to experience a hypnosis session with me, I'd like you to think about a stone having five, maybe six stones in front of you. I'd like you to close your eyes and imagine picking up a stone and opening your eyes, looking at it briefly and then close your eyes and bring that stone to your head. Think about the stone, feel the coolness of the stone, feel the size, the weight. Does it have a smell? Does it remind you of something? Maybe it tumbled in the river or maybe it came from a big mountaintop and then put it down Open your eyes. Imagine picking up another stone, just like I have. Close your eyes. Put it to your head again. How does it feel different than the first one? What's the colors? Does it have a history? Can you imagine, see, sense, feel? Maybe there was a fish or some kind of bug trapped in the dirt. As, as it formed to be what it was. And then put it down again, open your eyes, close your eyes. Now this stone, as you feel it, touch it, sense it, what does that remind you of? Does that remind you of volcanic eruption somewhere on earth, having all this lava, melt minerals, what does it do for you as you feel it, sense it, touch it, feel it, weigh it? Is it hot? Is it cold? Put it down, open your eyes, look at for another one. Take it, close your eyes, put it back to your forehead. And as you do so, allow yourself to relax. Allow yourself to relax. Because in a moment, if you want real change, real change to occur in your life, at that time, and only when you're ready, will you allow your arm to come down and rest on the table or on your lap gently, but only as ready as you are to make those powerful changes in your life. And so, just allow my voice now to carry you deeper and deeper into a transformational experience. And like those stones that had a long history, a long history before this moment, before I actually found it somewhere far away or close by, it doesn't really matter. Because like the stone, you too have a history that did not start right here, right now. And as you allow your unconscious mind to deep, dig deeper and deeper into the data bank of the unconscious, allowing it to find a bigger part of the story, which is really only a part of the story of how we got here today through trials and errors through volcanic eruption being pulled down a mountain through heavy mount mountainous waterfalls or even rains and as it started as a big boulder and tumbled down and broke into pieces never 
wondering why it was not the way it used to be. And some people may wonder, just like the stone, why they are the way they are. But the stone has no regrets. It is part of the, its journey. And I know maybe long after I'm gone from this planet, the stone will be here, maybe as, a, as small as a grain of sand, or as part of someone's aquarium, or maybe as part of mortar in somebody's home, because there is no end to what a stone could be, become, and continue to evolve the same way that you can change, evolve, become. Because really, even if you try not to, you are changing, you are evolving. And the stone, wherever it came from, it is happy, content, free, free of the other stones, not attached in any way to its outcome, not attached in any way to what it could have been, should have been, would have been. Just content in the consciousness of what it is. And they say that stones are made from gems, from minerals, sometimes a little chip off a vein and carried by birds, animals, maybe just the environment, maybe the wind blows it to a certain place, to a certain location. And they say that if you look down, you will always find a treasure within a stone. Because as you look at the stone, as you really look at what the stone could be, would be, should be, you may realize that it could be anything you choose. And you, like a stone, willing to find yourself, your authentic self, the bigger you, which is always changing, evolving, transforming itself to the highest expression of who you are. And like the stone, fearless about the past because the past has no power. And unknowing about the future because you never know who's going to pick up a stone somewhere, bring it home, look at it, feel it, be moved by it. And as you go through your life, wondering what next, what comes next, is not as important as what is now. Because what next is a great adventure, a transformation, an allowance of who you were meant to become. Right now, feeling solid as you imagine that last stone still in your hand or maybe the first stone how it felt how it continues to feel smooth jagged soft heavy all those feelings just allowing them to be more than they were maybe a different size, maybe a different shape, open, ready, and allowing for all those transformational changes 
that you came here today to experience and knowing that they've already started right within you. So take a moment now and think about what you wanted when you came here to watch this with me. Are you more than? Are you less than? Are you different? How have things changed? As I keep a handful of stones in my, my hand, do they love each other or do they just not care? As you think about tomorrow, when you wake up, will there be greater people, more people, or just the right number of people? You get to choose. And how does that feel knowing that you have already made those powerful changes for yourself? How does it feel knowing that tomorrow you will be waking up feeling so good, so refreshed and looking forward to the authentic you experiencing the world as a new person, a new you that fits the puzzle of life just the way it's supposed to. So once you feel that, I'd like you to now bring your hand up to your heart. Bring those feelings, those comfortable feelings, put them right into your heart. Feel them. Feel them go right into your heart. Infuse them with the sound of laughter, the sound of a voice of someone who's in your life or who was in your life. Remember the sound of laughter, the sound of joy, the sound of pleasure as you guys ent entertained each other with stories of camaraderie, of sharing all the good things in life. And when you feel it and it's strong and powerful, just allow it to sink in as deep as it can go, knowing that it could go even deeper. Because when you open your eyes in just a moment at the count of five, all those feelings will be installed and all the programming will be installed and all the changes you want will have been programmed in. So now I'm going to count from one to five. At the count of five, I'd like you to open your eyes, coming back to me now, feeling fully refreshed, feeling excited about what is to come as a new authentic you comes out and into the surface. One, two, three, getting ready to open your eyes, four, moving your hands, feet, and arms, and five, welcome back. This is Alan, your Mind Alchemist, wishing you the best of best days.